Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. I have been asked several times by the media concerning ruling parties and former ruling parties. The question has been, why has it not yet happened that a former ruling party in Zambia has come back and formed government? I want to speak about this subject basically as a collective concern for the African continent, but more specifically for Zambia. It is not the true assertion that a former ruling party cannot come back into government, because that is not true. We have just, next to us, Malawi, Congress Party, that had been kicked out of government 27 years ago, and now it has formed government. So the myth that a former ruling party cannot form government on the African continent uh, is not true and is not accurate. In Ghana, for instance, we have two political parties competing with each other. Uh, if one is not in power, the other one is in power, and they keep coming back and going out. Uh, we see this in countries like Nigeria and many other countries. And so it is possible for a party that was in government before, even here in Africa, to come back into government. The question is about Zambia. UNIP was in government for 27 years. And over the past number of years, UNIP has tried to reorganize itself to make itself once again as a formidable force uh, on the political scenario of our country. It has not happened. MMD was in power for 20 years, was removed from government, and has been trying to navigate one of the most challenging paths of political history in our country. And up to this day, it has not made headway to form government. We now have the Patriotic Front, which lost power not too long ago. They are yet to face the test of their lives as they face the next election in 2026. But it is important for us, from our own experience of the movement for multi-party democracy, maybe for the benefit of the other ruling parties that become former ruling parties like Patriotic Front and any other party in future. That amongst the many reasons that we feel are responsible for former ruling parties from coming back into government, especially in Zambia, it is the matter of succession. The change from one president to the other. When you nip lost, let me just summarize it that the late Kebim Sokotwane was elected as president. As he tried to reorganize that huge party, sentiments began to rise of members of UNIP going to pressurize Dr. Kenneth Kaunda to come back because they could not just get over the fact that Dr. Kaunda was no longer president of UNIP, just couldn't even sit in their minds. That push was so strong that eventually pre new president Kedu Musokotwani was kicked out of office and ceremoniously may he saw rest in peace. And ever since that was done, UNIP has never seen any growth or ascent towards the direction of forming government. Unfortunately for UNIP, they decided to try to change presidents in the hope that it could resuscitate the party but it continued to weaken it even much more. And I think that the issue of succession is one of those that affects former ruling parties in Zambia. We come to MMD, the party that I lead myself. When we were removed from office by the Patriotic Front, we went to a convention and a new leadership was elected where I emerged as, as leader. 
and we started to win by elections shortly after that in fact we won four by elections in a row when i took over as president of a former ruling party it looked positive it looked great that we're actually able to form government we thought um, in uh, the next election unfortunately we had the same situation where some people went to President Rupia Banda and told him that he needed to come back because they could not just imagine MMD without President Banda. And that desire for him to come back sent our party into a spin that ended up in the courts of law for years until the Zambian people turned their backs against the possibility of MMD ever becoming a formidable force. That weakened its prospects and that situation now remains for us to work through now that some of those challenges have gone down. We have now another succession challenge facing the patriotic front. President Edgar Lungu is still alive just like KK was alive at transition, President Rupia Banda was alive at the transition of MMD, and now President Edgar Lungu is alive at the transition of the Patriotic Front. The challenges might be the same. I know that it is possible for the Patriotic Front to change history by coming to a place where they elect a new president to replace President ECL, and President ECL not to get involved in either destabilizing the new president or wanting to come back because African political parties don't know how to change leaders and start to put all the confidence in the new leader unless the old leader continues to support the new leader and holds his hand to success. Unfortunately, for the former two political parties, former ruling parties, we didn't have that luxury of receiving the support of those that had gone before. We hope and pray the Patriotic Front will not need to face this problem. So it is important also to note that the transition from one political party to another political party creates two issues. Number one, the new party that takes over, in this case the UPND, has quite a turbulent one and a half years to two years of trying to reset the nation. And that resetting creates discomfort in the population where people start to say, we want the old party back because people are not used to the discomfort of reorganization. They want to have what they want now. They change government yesterday they want to eat today they want to have jobs today they want to have everything resolved today or the following day the following week or the following months and that is not humanly possible is not even something that happens in real life but politics demands it that way so there is a weakness season for a new political party that comes in that a former ruling party can take advantage of but not through lying but by strengthening themselves by going to the people and saying we are sorry for what we did and the offense we made in making you remove us from government so i think that once that window uh, is closed and unfortunately we find that the same window in which the new ruling party is struggling to get the boat you know in balance is the same period that the former ruling party is now fighting for power and succession and that gives the ruling party the advantage and so i've said all this to say that if we are going to change the politics of our country we need to do it now where the succession of former ruling parties could be rethought and improved so that we don't have to have a new political party every other cycle of an election because really then it becomes a huge experiment that never once concentrates on now developing the country except that we need a new political party every 10 year cycle and I think if we go into that it's a totally new way of trying to lead a country the issue of consistency may not be there um, and it may create its own problems. The United States of America has grown and continues to be a major power in the world, the leading power in the world, because they deal only with the Republicans 
I'm a de Democrat. And it's, it's a question of challenging one group and the other groups comes in. So the America is sitting on a foundation of development and growth because politics is there but it's not as volatile as in a country where you need a new political party each time you finish a mandate of a political party and if we want stability in our political life i think that the issue of succession in former ruling parties must be looked into otherwise good candidates like i believe the former president of UNIP, uh, the late Musoko Twane, in my own view, was a great candidate to take UNIP forward. But the forces of politics of Africa stopped him. I think that we started well as MMD, as it was demonstrated in the elect by elections that we won when I took over as president. But of course, the battles began when the former president wanted to come back. And we have never recovered, and we have not recovered. And I see the same for the patriotic front, that they need to learn from the two former ruling parties in order for them to forge ahead and stand a chance at reorganizing themselves as a formidable force in the future. These are the few th thoughts that I wanted to share today. And I think we need to choose the type of democracy that we want, which will focus more on the development of the country instead of petty politics that are only there to pull each other down. Zambia deserves more, Zambia deserves better, and we believe we can provide that. May God bless our great all right that's all right for you today lovely viewers if you did enjoy the video please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below i'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers once again i go by the name of mutatim pondum i love you peace i gotta go